Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your November love reading. I hope you guys are doing well. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. Do me a favor and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm uploading. If this one does hit home for you, the link to the extended reading is below in the description box as well as my website if you wanna book a private reading. The extended reading will just be how do they feel about you. So we're gonna just be diving a little bit deeper into the energy that we uncover here. Happy, happy birthday, all you Scorpios. I hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, let's do it. Let's see what's up. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We will clarify as well. Coming into the current moment, what do we have? Ooh, the Sun. Major Arcana for Leo. What's the influence to the Sun, Scorpio? What's going on? The Chariot, sign of Cancer. What's on your mind, Scorpio? The Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are really focusing on your money, your business, work, that kind of thing. We are doing love here, so. What happened, though, in the recent past? The Three of Swords. What's the main reason for the reading here? The Seven of Wands. Also, y'all hang out to the very end of the reading. We're gonna, um, we are gonna go over some extra messages, okay, from Spirit. All right, coming into the near future, what will you experience? Oh, okay, the Hierophant. Are you connecting with the Taurus? Doesn't have to be. But this is long-term, this is commitment, marriage. Very spiritual energy as well for the month of November, Scorpio. How do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The Four of Pentacles. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What's going on in your emotions, in your feels? Strength card in reverse. And what's the outcome? What do we have? Justice. Major kind of for Libra. Some of you are uh, Libra Scorpio cuspers, or maybe you're connecting with a Libran. All right, major arcana, balance. This feels like um, a work reading with a mixture of love. And um, I feel like the Knight of Pentacles in your environment coming in, it's in reverse. You got Virgo energy there, but I feel like this has something to do with work. I feel um, you may have been a little bit disappointed in the, the flow of money or work or something like that. And I think that uh, November is going to be a month of you balancing love. Some of you are going to be getting into a long-term relationship. Maybe you already have. This is you standing your ground. That's why everything's happening with the seven of wands. And I think that that is about balance. I can work. My money will, can get better, right? But I can also be in a relationship. Some of you are now opening yourselves up to a, a relationship. There's victory and success here. Maybe travel. Um, it doesn't have to be in November, but with the sun and the chariot, this is illumination and healing and happiness and just moving forward. And I do feel in work and love that chariot is you moving forward, maybe traveling towards someone. That's what this feels like. There was some separation or heartbreak in the, in the past. Could have been love or it could have been, you know, work, some disappointment. Sometimes for me, the three of swords is just burnout too. You know, you might be separated from someone here, but you're still holding on with the Four of Pentacles. And separation doesn't have to be a breakup, it could. Maybe you're at a distance, or maybe you guys can't you know, physically be together for some reason right now. I think that this is you holding on to your values, holding on to this person, fighting for them. And I also feel like that Four of Pentacles is you holding on to your money. Some of you had kind of an up and down October and you may in November with money, but you've got the stability on your mind. It could be a little bit rough, but then it gets better. So just budget too, you know, the best that you can. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Wands. So some sort of new beginning. Yeah. And then the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are heading into a very long-term relationship. I feel like it could lead to marriage at some point. Will it in November? No, not for all of you. But this is also having that spark again towards um, money and stability and your career achievement. The Ten of Pentacles is, you know, completion. And it's a lot of really good money coming your way as well, I think. I think there's a turnaround in that for some reason here. All right, let's start clarifying this bad bitch of a reading. Again, uh, the extended reading is going to go a little more into how your person feels about you and how they want to move forward with you, Scorpio. So if you're single, this would be the next person coming into your life. Y'all know, you know, time is fluid, but we are concentrating on November. 
Private readings are open. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep them open. So go book those. I'm sure I'll be coming up with some sort of holiday special here in the next couple weeks. I just don't know how long I'll be able to um, you know, accept private readings and you can use them at any time. So I would just book because mom here gets a little overwhelmed and I shut them down. <laughs> so, all right, what does Scorpio need to know please for November love? Any other messages that spirit wants to give here? What does Scorpio need to know? November love, what's coming in for Scorpio? So I see Libra here, Taurus, Cancer, Leo. I think I just said that. Um, I like to you know, call them out in case anybody's wondering. Doesn't mean it's not your reading, it's just that's who I see here. All right, let's see what's up. So coming in right now, we've got the sun. This is your energy coming into the current moment. Why is the sun here for Scorpio? And the magician in reverse. I think that you have illumination. You see things very clearly. Someone makes you happy. With the magician in reverse, you've got Virgo energy there. You're not able to manifest something at this particular moment. Remember, this is coming into the current moment. And it has to do with moving forward with someone here. Success. Also, they might be at a distance. And for the time being, you're kind of like, oh, I'm powerless. For some of you, the loss of power or being able to manifest this is money. For others of you, it's distance. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, the eight of cups in reverse, but no one's going anywhere, right? No one's going anywhere. And on the financial front, again, I feel like some of you have been in a little bit of a rut and you're like, God, I got to move forward. I got to get my butt in gear, something like that. And you haven't been able to get out of that. You feel a little bit emotionally drained, all right? If you're connecting with someone from a distance, no one's going anywhere. They're, you're still emotionally to get, you know, if you've been on a break, they want to return, you want to return to them. But there is this loss of power here on how to get, you know, happiness in the future. I think a lot of you are already happy with someone or you will be very shortly. You just have to be able to overcome that magician in reverse. Ooh, seven of swords wanted to come out and I was thinking about the queen of pentacles. So we're going to take it. Yeah, I feel like you're strategizing. Um, again, I'm getting a mixture of work and love here. Um, you may feel as though somebody has been trying to steal your ideas or something as well with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. I think a lot of you are trying to strategize how to have more stability with your career. What's the Seven of Swords and the Star? Yeah, you're in the spotlight, some of you, in some way. And I think that there has been somebody around you, this would just be for work for me, that is trying to steal that from you. Kind of drain you a little bit emotionally, but on your mind with that queen of pentacles there in the upright, you're like, nope, you're determined. I also feel like that's why the seven of wands is in the foundation. They can try, but they're not gonna get anywhere with it. In the past, you experienced a three of swords. What's the three of swords here in the past for Scorpio and the Hierophant? Yeah, a lot of you for work, it's spiritual. Like you do something very quite spiritual or you're manifesting, you you know, you dive into the realms of spirituality and cleansing and, and that kind of thing. Um, and there could have been, when we are talking about your career or money or something like that, someone who wasn't happy about the success that you've achieved or something like that. I also feel though you were in separation when it comes to love. Some of you, it was a literal separation or a divorce. I think that you both, you know, you either stayed committed or you decided to become more committed, like a traditional connection and relationship, but there was a little bit of disappointment tied to it. And from, for some of you, maybe it is distance. It's all happening because of the Seven of Wands. What's this about? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. See, I, again, it's, I feel as though there's been some sort of fluctuation in finances, kind of a lack of, but you're determined with the Seven of Wands and really just blocking anyone out who's you know trying to steal the gift that you give with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and also just a little bit of a delay but I think in love, but I feel like you're both determined to fight for it. Coming into the near future, Scorpio, you will, ex ooh, my nose is itching. You know what that means. Messages. You have the Hierophant. Where is this here? Taurus energy and the Queen of Cups in reverse. That's you. Scorpio, Cancer energy typically. 
maybe Pisces, but it, it's your reading. I think that's you, male or female. A little bit blue, a little bit sad. You may find that you're going to be quite emotional. I just, again, I get that there's a long-term relationship that you're still in or that's coming, but for some reason you're upside down. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Four of Cups. Some of you are afraid you're going to lose an opportunity with someone here, but I don't think you will because justice is here. A lot of you, it is going to lead to marriage. You've got the Hierophant. So this outcome is typically a result of what you'll experience in the near future. And this is, you know, the scales are finally going to be balanced. Again, Libra and energy there. And it has to do with something. I, I just feel like this is moving towards something very long term. But you may find yourself a little bit emotional because you're afraid it won't happen. All right. You see yourself right now as the four of pentacles. Why? Justice in reverse. Yeah. Something's not going to go my way. I don't feel balanced right now. I feel financially for you, Scorpio. You're holding on. You're, you know, saving, budgeting because you feel like there's been a little bit of a loss. Somebody zapped your energy and maybe you weren't as motivated. So you're really watching your spending and it could be you feel somebody's taken something from you. As far as love goes though, you're holding on to somebody here, even though you feel right now like something's not fair. And I think what you feel isn't fair is that physically you can't be with them right now. Coming into uh, what you'll experience coming in from your environment is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Why is this coming in? And the Knight of Cups. So two knights showing up here, which is typically the arrival of something unexpected. So there's a low in finances. Something's just not moving forward. But then I think you guys get motivated and you arrive, this cup arrives. So the Knight of Cups says, fill my cup or let me fill your cup. You know, you're offering something and it's going to turn around that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So that's you, Scorpio. And I also feel, um, as far as love goes through November, you guys may feel a little bit just kind of like things aren't moving forward, but then you have somebody that's like, hey, Scorpio, it's okay. Like, here's your, you know, here's the cup. Like somebody's kind of, you know, offering you emotion and love while you guys are trying to figure out how to come together is what that feels like. In your emotions, you're feeling the strength card in reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, and the page of pentacles. See, money learning something, receiving. Sometimes the Page of Pentacles is asking for a loan or, you know, it's, it's small, right? It's kind of like some of you, again, financially just feel like, you know, I've given up, I haven't been motivated or something like that. But then, you know, it comes back around. You're not going to give up. The Page of Pentacles is all about value and stability. And the Page of Pentacles is learning. He's a student of the deck, you know? And again, I get somebody here in love whom I think will turn into a very long-term relationship is very supportive throughout the month of November. The outcome here, Scorpio, is justice, sign of Libra. So why is justice here in the outcome? What is this? The Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the heavy load, right, of being apart from someone or not being able to completely come together, you're laying that down. The pressure is going to be relieved. You know, you're able to kind of get a sigh of relief, and it's because balance will be restored here. And also, too, I think in work, something happens where finally the scales are balanced for career, money, work, something like that. And you're able to finally kind of ease up and the pressure is released here. But as far as love goes, um, you've got somebody that you're going to be dealing with or you're already dealing with that's very supportive, very loving. They want to be in a long term relationship with you. I think you guys are just trying to get it all together. What's this Ten of Wands in reverse? Yeah. It's all about divine timing. You've got, um, you know, temperance, Sagittarius energy, major arcana. So two majors in your outcome in November in love, Scorpio. This is about divine timing. Again, balance. You have two cards of balance and people kind of working together to cooperate. And then boom, something goes your way. It's choices and decisions. And it's going to relieve a lot of like worry and stress and just burdens. So again, over in the extended reading, let's dive in and see what this person thinks, feels, what's their next kind of move here. What will they be doing through the month of November to get to you and be with you, Scorpio? Oh, I for almost forgot. Let's pull an extra card here. So let's see what the angels have here for you. So what do you want, Scorpio? Sorry about that, y'all. Too many to take, too many fell out. So let's see what we have. Spirit, what do you have for Scorpio? What's the advice for Scorpio throughout November? What is the main advice for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. 
What do you want them to know? Advice from spirit? What do you want Scorpio to know, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Come on, one card. What do you want Scorpio to know, please? All right, there we go. Let's do it, let's see what's up. So <laughs> the answer is no. Okay, Scorpio, your answer is no. So whatever you were thinking about, I guess, during the reading, it's no. I feel like the no is that it's not time to give up on something. Or, you know, and I, again, I know we were doing a love reading, but I feel as though um, that no has something to do with career or, war or work. Something like that. Because I do feel like a lot of you have been going back and forth. Should I leave this? Should I do something else? You know, and I don't think you should because we see abundance coming in here for you. I don't think the no is love. There's a strong message here for um, finances and career. Do you have any other advice for Scorpio? <clears throat> it just came out too many. But the situation will prove within the next few months. So see, that's what I'm talking about. And I think that that's love and money. Within the next few months, the situation will improve. Something really big is coming for love. And I feel like the struggle is more with finances and your job. Something like that. It's going to balance out, though. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have you got for you guys. I will see you over on the extended and see how your person feels. Love you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon. Take care.